All right, we're going to take a look at the joint tool for a minute here. The joints have been around since 2014 version of Inventor. I think a lot of people are not using them yet because they are scared of them or they don't understand exactly how they work. So we're going to look at a couple tips here on making the joints work for you. So the first thing we're going to look at is the selection point. You'll notice there are multiple selections you can do with the joint tool. Um, cylindrical surfaces, we have faces, we have circular edges. These are all going to give us different automatic results. So I'm going to start by picking just a face, center of the face, and we'll constrain it to the center of another face. We'll notice this is actually the easiest one to select and it does a rotational joint for this just like we would want. Um, we're going to do another joint. This time I'm going to pick a cylindrical edge with a cylindrical edge. And you'll notice this time it actually, because we picked cylinders, gives us a cylindrical. So I, I know with either one of these methods, we can always go in and change it to the proper type of motion that we wanted. Um, but it's a little easier if we just go ahead and pick the correct one right off the bat. Um, we can also, let me pick the joint tool pick a circular center and constrain to another circular center. That'll also default to the rotational method for this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then add a few more joints to this. And one more bolt. Where did it go? There it is. So with the proper selections, you can make the joint tool a lot quicker and easier to use. Not have to go in and, and adjust the, uh, the automatic constraint every time. Um, another thing that a lot of people are not using the joint tool for is automatic centering capabilities. This is great. Um, we could achieve the centering of this bushing with a few uh, regular constraints. We might do a, an axis constraint and then we might combine that with a mid-plane constraint. However, with the joint tool we can do the centering and the positioning with one click. Two clicks technically. But one relationship. Okay, so we, we're going to go ahead and change this one to rotational. But what you'll see after I get both of these inserted right in the middle we're completely centered exactly how we want to be. It's very easy to do. Another capability this tool has that some people have not found yet is in the right click menu. So in this case the cylinder doesn't go all the way through. I want to center this down here in this face. However, if I right click, we have an offset origin and a between two faces, which is very easy to use. We just pick the two faces and we get a midpoint in the middle of those. Now, of course, here I could have picked the middle of this cylinder, but it's a lot easier to pick from the outside. I don't have to rotate to the exact view. And again, for this constraint, there's not really anything to constrain it to in the middle, but I can do between the two opposite edges pick the center location there and we have it positioned exactly where we want. Alright, so let's go ahead and add this down to there. And one last thing I want to look at is the alignment options. So I'm going to go ahead and constrain these two. So we'll notice this this time it actually picked the wrong direction. This is very easy to correct. All we need to do is flip the connection. With one click we can flip the right direction. Now the other thing that I notice is that this is actually rotated 90 degrees from where it needs to be. And the reason is when we pick the arrows you'll notice that it's a circle with a pointing direction. And initially the pointing directions will be aligned to each other. If we want a different alignment, very easy to achieve, all we need to do is click the align pick arrows pick any edge and then a corresponding 
face or edge for it to align with and we'll get the proper rotation. So hopefully some of those options in the joint tool will be useful for you and uh, allow you to work a lot more quickly. Definitely take a look at replacing some of your manual constraint with the new joint tool.